Welcome to my bubble. Come on in. Also, I want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, so stay tuned until the end if you want me to share some skills with you. Okay? Got it? Good. Welcome to my bubble. This is where I've been living for the last, like, almost two weeks now. Me and Marcus, you know, going strong, staying safe. No germs are going to get through here. Hi! So here I am, in my bubble. My mom's right there. Say hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Um, so I've been living in here for almost two weeks with Marcus. So welcome to my bubble. This has been my life. So, uh, first I'm going to show you my room. Welcome to my room. This is where I have been living since quarantine. Marcus is my son and he keeps me company in my bubble. This room is part of the bubble. So yeah. So here's the door when you first walk in. Here's my boy Marcus. Um, and then there's the bed. It's usually not made. There's my bedside table, my little backpack, all this mess. <laughs> um, Marcus's carrier, some extra bean chips because I love bean chips. Marcus's water is over here. Oh, here's the towel that we put under the door. So Marcus was just drinking his water. Stay hydrated. It's important to stay hydrated. And over here is Marcus's food and water bowl. As you can see, here he comes. You might want to check it out, see if he's interested in eating right now. Nope, okay. Lovely windows. These are temporary blinds, but I think they're actually kind of nice looking. And if you can see, there's a window. Great view, huh? <laughs> and then here is this mess of things. I have one, two, three, four, five water bottles. Um, this is open because I'm in the midst of using it right now to film this video. Um, and these water bottles, I pour into that water bottle over there. And these water bottles go into the vestibule, vestibule, the little pass-through box. And I sanitize them with these wipes and my mom fills them up with the filtered water from the fridge. And we do that every day, sometimes twice a day. Yeah, got all my good stuff, some fried onions, some dog treats. Some human treats, some more dog treats. Gotta have B5, most important thing for skincare for me. Keep it, take it every day. Um, there's Marcus again, very cute. There's my face shield to stay safe. You know, that's what I wear when I'm at the airport. And then here's this lovely bathroom, and this might sound crazy, but this shower is superior to all other showers like 99% of showers. I don't know why, I'm the kind of person who's like, I keep putting off showering like as long as I can, so I often end up showering at like two or three in the morning um, because I just keep putting it off all day. I'm usually a night showerer. Um, but when I'm here, living in the bubble at my mom's house, I am a morning showerer because it's so incredible. And let me tell you everything about the shower that I love. First of all, it's a walk-in shower. So you don't have to like step over to get into the tub. By the way, that's my shirt that Marcus threw up on. So it's drying right there since I rinsed it off. Ample shower heads, so much water comes down from there. Like, so you're completely covered in water. You're not cold at all. This window just makes it feel open and bright and airy. And then the completely like crystal clear glass is makes it just feel so open. And just this swinging door is so easy to get in and out of the shower. Um, and these controllers for the water are great because you can pick what temperature you want before you turn on the water, which I think is very important. Because usually with my shower at my apartment, you turn on the water and then it starts at cold, then you gotta turn it to hot. But here you can pick what temperature you want and then turn on the shower. So that's great. And I love this window that lets in the light. The absolute privacy. You can't see anything through there for the most part. Um, and then of course, perfect shower ledge to keep stuff on 
and a little bench, you know, you can sit there or you can like put your feet up on it if you're like, you know, washing your legs or you're shaving or something. And then I put the body wash there because it's in a pump bottle. Make it easier to, you know, pump. Here's my sink, love it. Over here, you can see the, um, this wonderful portrait of me and my best friends just chilling, hanging out, living our best life. So you got, you got the little leg right there. Fashion, I'm, li I'm living the life, living the life. And of course it is also very important that we have snacks. Okay, so I got some bean chips, some potato bread, some Oreo, Oreo minis, some Pop-Tarts. I haven't even opened the box of Pop-Tarts yet. And some Belvedas. I also haven't had any Belveda since I've been here. So that has been most of the bedroom um, part of my vestibule. Oh, did I mention that? I call it, me and my mom call it a vestibule instead of just a bubble. But I figure bubble is more clickable than vestibule. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna call it a bubble. Thing about the bubble is, you know, how clear the plastic is. My mom engineered this bubble out of, um, clear plastic shower curtains, which I will link below. So if you want to recreate this at home, you could. So there's Marcus again, hello. There is Fluff, the kitty cat that does live here. There's also a Tigger here somewhere, but she's not to be seen at the moment. Anyways, so if you would, if you're interested in recreating this whole vestibule slash bubble living experience to quarantine safely, then you can check the links below to where my mom got all these clear shower curtains and also the shower rods that she used to hang them up. And as you can see, I also reinforced with some blue tape. And also, I don't know if you can tell where it's like shiny, there's like clear tape that I used because the blue tape sort of like unstuck in some places. So I added that clear tape over it to make it airtight again. And that's what the ladder in here is for so that I can reach up there when I need to repair. As you can tell, I mean, it's very clear plastic, so it's kind of like I'm just like right here with my mom, you know, so that's good. Because I've been living alone for about a year and I've not seen my mom that whole time except for over FaceTime. So I was really happy that I got to, you know, sort of be with her again, even if it's just through the plastic. We do have Marcus here to guard the bubble we also have Baby Yoda, which I find is essential to have in your bubble if you're gonna live in a bubble. Baby Yoda protects us, provides ample amounts of cuteness, Robo. and provides the Christmas spirit. I don't know what my mom's doing over there. I don't know why she's heckling us. <laughs> Robo. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. It's not Baby Yoda anymore, it's Grogu. It's Baby Yoda. I don't know if you can't tell, guys, but this is Baby Yoda. So leave your comments down below if you think I'm right. Also keep my shoes here and my mom's slippers that I use when I walk Marcus. So we have this little vestibule, vestibule, the vestibule within the vestibule. And it's pretty, you know, sealed well. And I just pop this on out. And I can put stuff in there, like my sanitized empty water bottles. You know, close it back up and then my mom will open up the other side. And then she'll put in some food and I'll take it out and then I'll eat it. So that's excellent. Yeah, this is just a great option living in a bubble. When I first got here and this part was um, sort of exposed a little bit, like it was just the shower rod. There was no tape, so the air could pass through a little bit. Um, I would wear my mask whenever I was here in the vestibule bubble. Now that I have, for the most part, sealed it airtight, I no longer wear my mask when I'm in the bubble for the most part. Um, so I can eat in here, you know, I can do whatever, and I don't have to worry about wearing the mask. But of course, you know, we're, when we're outside, like if we walk Marcus together or whatever, we wear a mask and we make sure we're at least six feet apart if we're, you know, we got our mask on. Turned it off just for this video, but I keep the exhaust fan on 24 seven ever since I moved in here essentially um, for, you know, the holidays or whatever. But um, that exhaust fan is on all of the time, no matter what. 
And also, if you can see, the return vent has been sealed off with tape and a bag um, so that the return air is not returned. But the air in is coming in and then going out through the exhaust fan. And of course there was a little vent right there that my mom was gracious enough to um, cover with a bag so that air wouldn't be forced in here and then essentially you know forced back out or whatever okay and if you guys liked this video and you liked learning about my bubble lifestyle i hope that you will also enjoy learning new things on skillshare the sponsor of today's video skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people so you can explore new skills deepen existing passions and just get lost in creativity they have so many different videos about like different topics you can learn about animation you can learn about photography you can even learn about cooking so I mean, there's so many different things that you can learn about with Skillshare. And I just like love that kind of stuff, like creative stuff, you know, especially like film and like, you know, photography stuff I'm really interested in. So I thought maybe you'd be interested in it. You know, I don't know if you guys got similar interests to me. One class that I've been loving recently is Fundamentals of DSLR Photography. Cause I have a DSLR, but I like, don't really know how to use it or at least i didn't before and this class covers everything from like iso to aperture so if you're like a beginning photographer like i am you can you know learn all the fundamentals that you need to know and justin bridges the person who teaches the class is good at explaining and you know speaking from experience so i think you know it's a worthwhile watch to learn you know more about photography and just become a better photographer in general and skillshare is curated specifically specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads whatsoever. And they're always coming out with new premium classes so that you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. And the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. You're welcome. That's my gift to you free trial of premium membership that is zero dollars so that you can explore your creativity so please do not hesitate to take advantage of this offer of a free trial of premium membership you won't regret it it's awesome you're gonna learn so many things and have so much fun and just expand your knowledge of all things creative thank you guys so so much for watching me and marcus really appreciated you watching the video of our bubble lifestyle yes we're still, still in the bubble. Um, but thank you really seriously. It means a lot to me, Marcus. And Baby Yoda. Here is today's comment shout out. Shout out to you. If you wanna be the next comment shout out, just leave a comment down below. And that could be you at the end of the next video. It's free to leave a comment. Also, well, why not be the next comment shout out, right? And also, today's da -da 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 Instagram shout out. Shout out to you. So if you would like to be the next Instagram shout out, all you gotta do is follow me on Instagram and like my photos and comment on my photos. And that is, I've heard, absolutely free to do. So I don't know why you wouldn't do it. That's just a thought. And also, it means so much to me if you like the video because it really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. Yes, I live in a bubble. If any of you live in a bubble, please let me know down below. Let me know how you like it, you know. If you, if you enjoy living in a bubble, I so far have enjoyed living in a bubble. It means I don't have to cook my own food. My, my mom just puts it in a little box. It's like, it's like the magical food machine from Spy Kids. Um, so yeah, have a great day. Thank you all for watching. If you don't recall, my name is Corey Mann. It's Corey with K, Mann, two N's. N, 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 N.